in another part of the kitchen. We are going to be making yogurt today with our Ninja Foodie. Now this machine has an actual yogurt setting. It even says yogurt. Now, the instructions for this machine say to put this on, um, oops, um, say to put this on ferment. Don't do that. If you put it on ferment, um, what it will do is just kind of heat your milk to 108 degrees for 10 hours and you'll end up with slime. It's not really a good idea. Um, so just leave it on yogurt, but you can set your time. And today we are cooking our yogurt for 12 hours to make a nice firm yogurt. Um, we are putting in a half gallon of milk. What kind of milk? This is whole milk. Um, you can make low-fat yogurt. Uh, we're doing this with the fat. So what the foodie is going to do is it's going to bring this milk to a boil and then cool it down so that you know we make sure that uh, there's no impurities and weird things in there. We're going to use the pressure lid set to vent not uh, what the, whatever the other one is, seal. Not seal, you want it to vent. Um, so the, the process of boiling the milk and cooling it down takes about five hours. And then the 12 hours will start. So I think I have to push a start button. And you see it even says boil. So now if you wanted to make yogurt and you didn't happen to have a Ninja Foodie, you could boil your milk, let it cool down to between 108 and 112 degrees, then add your yogurt culture, which is just yogurt that has culture in it, and, um, and then you have to keep it between 108 and 112 degrees. Lower than that, the yogurt culture won't grow. Above 112 degrees, the yogurt culture will die. So it's super easy to do it with this. I mean, I just did half the work. The other half is putting in two tablespoons of yogurt in five hours. So we'll come back when this has cooled down. All right, so this machine's uh, beeping. It says add and stir. So it knows the yogurt. Uh... So I have a half a cup of yogurt. And this is uh, our previous batch of yogurt. I'm just gonna... What's it you need out of that? Hmm? Uh, the cultures. The cultures, yes. Live cultures? Live cultures. Uh, so our last batch, we started with the store-bought that had live culture in it. And, um, you know, every five batches or so, you really need to start over again with a new culture it just kind of weakens up over time. So now this is just going to uh, cook away at the proper temperature for uh, the next uh, 10 hours. All right, so to get it to go to the next phase, I just had to hit the start button again and uh, off it goes. All right, so this was going overnight. It's bright and early in the morning. And we have yogurt. Ooh, looks like blue yogurt. Wow, More look lights. at that. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, good. Okay, so we're gonna put it in some jars and get it in the fridge. Oh, that's gonna take you a minute. The yogurt has chilled, and uh, we're gonna have it for breakfast. And I'm just, usually, we would like to have this with a little fruit as well, but we're all out of fruit, so. I have to see a store run in our future. Well, that looks good. And we like to eat this with uh, some of our granola. And I like quite a bit of granola on mine. Your taste may vary, but that's gonna be delicious. So let's eat.
Okay, it came out great. Um, and we had two, two jars. Two, two quarts, mm -hmm. because we used to have a gallon, so mm -hmm. makes sense. Um, so thanks for watching Two Cooks in the Kitchen. Subscribe to our channel. You see more of our uh, shenanigans, and we'll see you next time.